Chapter 5 Now Hiram king of Tyre sent his servants to Solomon when he heard that they had anointed him king in place of his father, for Hiram always loved David. And Solomon sent word to Hiram, You know that David my father could not build a house for the name of the Lord his God because of the warfare with which his enemies surrounded him until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God has given me rest on every side. There is neither adversary nor misfortune. And so I intend to build a house for the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord said to David my father, Your son, whom I will set on your throne in your place, shall build the house for my name. Now therefore command that cedars of Lebanon be cut for me, and my servants will join your servants, and I will pay you for your servants such wages as you set, for you know that there is no one among us who knows how to cut timber like the Sidonians. As soon as Hiram heard the words of Solomon, he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, who has given to David a wise son to be over this great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have heard the message that you have sent to me. I am ready to do all you desire in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. My servant shall bring it down to the sea from Lebanon, and I will make it into rafts to go by sea to the place you direct. And I will have them broken up there, and you shall receive it. And you shall meet my wishes by providing food for my household. So Hiram supplied Solomon with all the timber of cedar and cypress that he desired. While Solomon gave Hiram twenty thousand cores of wheat as food for his household, and twenty thousand cores of beaten oil. Solomon gave this to Hiram year by year, and the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him, and there was peace between Hiram and Solomon, and the two of them made a treaty. King Solomon drafted forced labor out of all Israel, and the draft numbered thirty thousand men, and he sent them to Lebanon ten thousand a month in shifts. They would be a month in Lebanon and two months at home. Adoniram was in charge of the draft. Solomon also had seventy thousand burden-bearers and eighty thousand stone-cutters in the hill country, besides Solomon's three thousand three hundred chief officers who were over the work, who had charge of the people who carried on the work. At the king's command they quarried out great, costly stones in order to lay the foundation of the house with dressed stones. So Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders and the men of Gebel did the cutting and prepared the timber and the stone to build the house. He will glorify me for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. A little while and you will see me no longer, and again a little while and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What is this that he says to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they were saying, What does he mean by a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Is this what you are asking yourselves, what I meant by saying, A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me? Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come, but when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish or joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. In that day you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have asked nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. Hello and welcome to Bible Time today, First King chapter 5. As Israelites increases in their prosperity, Solomon showed that he is now ready to build the temple in Jerusalem as his father David commanded him to build. Now this is one of the great achievements in Israel's history. First Solomon prepares an important building material and then he gathers the competent construction engineers and also he signs a trade agreement with Hiram. Now, the temple is exactly two times the size of the tabernacle that built by Moses. And now, John chapter 16, verse 14 through 24. When the disciples were confused by Jesus saying that they will see him for a while and then they will see him again. So Jesus explains it that they would soon will be filled with sorrow because they cannot see him, but they will be filled with joy and that sorrow will turn into joy when they see him again. Just as a woman giving birth 
will face sorrow because she knows the pain of birth of the baby. But when the baby is born, she no longer is sorrowful, but she will have the joy of having the birth to a baby. Thus, Jesus is talking about his death, that they will be sorrowful, but when he is resurrected to life again, and then they will be filled with joy. So it is true with our life as well. When we realize that Jesus has died for our sin, He was crucified on the cross, our heart is sorrowful. But we know that, that He was resurrected back to life again. That means that our heart is now filled with joy and it will continue to be filled with joy because He is risen from the grave. And so this is something that Jesus has prepared the disciples what they're going to face in the nearby future. So with that, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have come to save us and through your death and we will be sorrowful for a moment. But then yet, Lord, we know that you were resurrected again, back to life again, that you have conquered the grave. Now you claim the victory over the death and sorrow. Now we are filled with joy, so we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.